Okay, we are getting everything ready and the kids are helping. We have a few places where there's stickers on the floor, so they're getting them off. We are all vacuumed and we're about to mop the floor. And uh, the kids helped us move everything and now Daniel's having a good time on the floor and Emily too. So yeah, we're getting everything all prepped. We're about to put some um, soap in a bucket and get to mopping. <laughs> For real, it's like. Oh, we gotta move those too. I guess we need sand. All right, so me and my daughter are sanding the bad areas of the floor. Uh, the floor generally looks like really good, as you can tell. But we are sanding it, and uh, I might add like a little Miyagi into it. Sand the floor. And then, but you okay? Is there an, a staple? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll get it in a second. But uh, my wife had to take the two youngest ones, uh, kind of give us a little more uh, room to think and room to interact when we start doing the polyurethane. But anyway, so my wife, she'll be back. I know this is her channel. She just wanted me to kind of keep up with what's going on with it, but so. Right now, we're just sanding in the bad areas, like all this, uh, the black area, we're sanding it. So we're gonna, all right, try not, try not to stay in one area too long. When you do a circle, you don't wanna stay in one area for too long. You wanna keep moving and just go around, okay? Go slower, go slower. All right, but anyway, so she'll be back soon and then we'll get back to that. Oh, when he bought new stuff, mm. I had to mix it. What kind did you get? He got a semi gloss or satin or what did you get? Uh, I honestly can't remember. Let's look and see. No, I got satin. I thought you were talking about what my old boss used to get. Oh, super fast dry. I'm talking about this. All right, we're stirring it and getting it ready. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, there's some stuff. Never mind. Oh, yeah. okay. You see it? Yeah, I see it now. This takes time. Stir, stir, stir. Start over. Okay, so I got to clean this part because it's all um, got these little sticky spots from um, where the carpet batting was stuck. The where they'd walked right here, all right here was all, oh man, there were like huge chunks of it stuck when we pulled up the carpet. And over on the other side where you walk into the hallway, it was like that too, but I've already cleaned that spot. So I'm cleaning over here. And Bruce is stirring the polyurethane still. So he's going to do the rest of the floor. And then hopefully this little section last. And then we'll back out the kitchen door. And um, we'll let this air out for the rest of the afternoon. Just so happens to be kind of cold today. So that doesn't help. Um, but, you know. You gotta do stuff when you got the chance. Um, and we had to take the two youngest over to my mom's house so that the Your baby wouldn't be breathing. The floor is just best to use quarter pan. I thought she was downstairs. We're gonna have to, okay, the animals have to go outside and stay outside or go downstairs and stay downstairs. Okay. They can't be in our rooms because they get out and they're like, oh, we're gonna walk on this tacky floor. So yeah, there's the the uh, cat. Okay, so I also got new blinds for this front window that we're gonna put up once we're done with the floor and new curtains. Whatever, whatever. And then the only thing left that I'm gonna have to do, hopefully next month, is paint all the walls, which I will just have to paint it and sections. Sofa moving. All right, we're getting ready. Starting this corner. You wanted to talk about the rollers and how you do things something uh, like I'll oh. put a roller in there. I just get a big oversized bucket like this where I can get the roller and just dip the whole thing in. And then after I pull it out, I just kind of like let it drip for a little bit. And once when it slows down, then I start rolling. Uh, when you do it close to the walls, you want this arm away because you want to get as close as you can to the edge right there. Then I'll finish up with a brush. Yes. Well, you might better do the brush now. 
Oh, okay. All right, we're going. He's rolling. And I am getting a few places like around the vents and stuff with the paintbrush. And I'm gonna get around the front door here because I want it to be good and sealed. Ah, look, we vacuumed and vacuumed and I wiped and there's still a piece of debris. It's like it's impossible to get all the debris. Okay, we're almost finished. We're coming up to the last little corner. Did I need to get anything next to this, uh, the wood here? Did I need to get anything? No, I got it. Okay. Looking good. I got shiny. Look. Ooh. I mean, I know it's wet. It's got to dry. But still, it looks more even, too. I mean, obviously, we didn't put any stain in our... Um, polyurethane we decided against it after reading an article about how hard it was to get the stain to look even and since these floors already are pretty uneven because it's just the you know the wear of the natural wood um this is oak it's all um throughout the house except for the kitchen and um the downstairs so the whole upstairs is this oak and Right now, we're just doing the living room. Eventually, we'll get to Daniel's room. Um, but right now, his, his floor is not in really bad shape. It's just that this was so traveled, and we had our kitchen table. So every time the kids would spill something, I mean, a lot of the wood, it was down to the bare wood. It was just rubbed off um, from having the carpet over it for so many years. And then probably us living on it without having polyurethane it when we first moved in. So the article we read talked about how um, the stain will get into like every little imperfection. And we already know that these floors are pretty beat up. And this is just a quick, you know, protecting for us, for our family. Maybe when the kids get older, we can strip it all back down and we can really like sand the wood and get it um, looking nice and then maybe we would stain it. I don't know, but I'm happy with this color. I think that once we get it, um, the walls painted and new curtains, I really think it'll brighten it up in here. And then the floor itself won't look so orange. It'll look more deep once we get it. Cause there are sections of it even that are darker where we've, you know, like where the wood has just gotten worn out. Um, you're done. Okay. Gotta go this way. This is our last little section. We're gonna back ourselves into a corner. No, I'm not going in the hallway. I know. Okay, so here I am in the hallway. You can't go that way. And there is Daniel. 